All right, now what I want us to do <clears throat> is I want us to identify place value in a number. We should be able to look at any number and identify the place value of all the numbers that are in there. Now, I was playing around on the internet yesterday and I found something that said that the population of the U.S. was this. Now, understand that this was only an estimate. We used the census to try to get a very accurate count of the number of people that are still living or that are in the United States. Whether they are here legally or illegally, it still accounts towards the U.S. population. Now, why is this number always changing? People die. Well, that's kind of that's gruesome, dude. You just go straight to the people <laughs> dying? <laughs> Some, somebody somebody counter, counter that. Born. People are being born, yes. And also people are coming into the country. <laughs> people are also coming into the country illegally. Now, according to the statistics that I found, it said that one, one person is born every eight seconds. Someone dies every 12 seconds, which means that we are creating more people than we're killing. And not that we're killing people, but you know what I mean, <laughs> right? More people are being born than are dying. Plus, it says one international migrant uh, about every 40 seconds net, which came up to be a net gain of one person into our country every 17 seconds. So if I have this number right here, how would you read this number? Is this in terms of thousands, millions, billions, what? And do we even know what sounds appropriate? So what is this measured in? Million. This is millions, right? Yeah. So if I were to identify the threes that are in this number, okay, I have a three here, a three here, and a three here. So in what position are these numbers? This three right here, what position is he in? So it tells me that I have three tens or, you know, 30 right there. What about this guy? This is in the spot for hundred thousands. And what about this guy? Hundred millions. So does that sound appropriate for the population of our country to be 317 million and some change? Yeah. Yeah. That does. What's the, what's the population of, of Houston? If you look at the Houston metro area, if you were to estimate the population of the Houston metro area, what is it? Four million. Four million. So a closer to six. If you include all of the counties and all of the little cities that are included in the greater Houston metro area, it's about six, six and a half million. That's a lot of people. That's why you have a hard time getting to work in the mornings. <laughs> okay. Now, what about the world population? 6.6 6 6 billion? 6 .6 billion? Well, according to what I saw, of course, this is not, it's not always going to be exact, but the world population, hope I have enough room here. This is the world population. So the number that's furthest out to the left, what spot is this in? Billions. Billions, because you have, remember, this is your thousands section, <laughs> millions, and then we've got this seven here in the billions spot, right? And for those of you that are wondering about this, here's the information as it showed up yesterday. China leads the world with over a billion, a billion, 355 million people. India is just behind it at about 1.2 billion people. Now, in not too many years from now, India will more than likely surpass China for the world's largest population, for, for a country. Why is that? 
or do you just or do you just accept what I say? Why do you think that the population of India will surpass China? Will? What? Will surpass China? Yeah, it, it, at the at the current rates. Birth control. Yeah. China has. Um, they, they kind of have control over the birth rates, right? Yeah. They have limitations as to the kids that you can have, how many you can have, right? No, I don't think they have that in India. No. You also need to keep this in mind about India. India is not as large as China. China has a much larger land mass than India does. We see the, the U.S. comes in here at third, right? So that should make us feel proud, right? We are the thir third most people in the, in the world. But some of the other countries up here kind of surprised me. Indonesia doesn't surprise me, because that's, that's close to India. Um, I think Brazil maybe surprised me a little bit, but look, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nigeria, that kind of surprised me. But look at Japan. Japan has 127 million people. We do understand that Japan is not very big, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, hey, it's, islands can still be large, right? Yeah, well, well, not according to that number. That's a big number. Yeah. yeah, that's a big number for the... Japan. Now, this is something we're going to end up doing later this semester. We'll try to figure out, if I, if I know the population of a country, and I know the square mileage of a country, we can figure out about how many people per square, square mile there are. Like, Texas is the second most populous state in the country, right? Mm -hmm. But in terms of density, we're not number two in terms of density because we have a much larger land mass <coughs> than the other states, right? What is the, what size is Texas compared to the other states? Where does it rank? Okay, dude, we live in Texas. It ranks second. In terms of land mass, it ranks second. In terms of population, it ranks second. What is the largest state in the union? Alaska. I don't think Alaska is number one in terms of population, is it? <coughs> what is number one in terms of population? What's the number one state in population? No. It's the Golden State. California. 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 Looks like you guys just got schooled. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, if you want even bigger numbers, this is, this is really sad. You might need to turn your paper sideways to fit this number on here. So, whoops, you see that's not even right. That's probably what it was several years ago. Let's try this again. There is an estimate for the current U.S. debt in terms of, or just everything, what we owe other countries, just, this is insane, right? Now, to talk about the insanity of the numbers, we're talking about our U.S. population being in hundreds of millions, right? Mm -hmm. The world population being measured in billions. What is this measured in? Trillions. Now, do you say trillions because you hear it talked about all the time? Yeah, it's something that we, sadly, we kind of get accustomed to that, but later on, we're going to put that into perspective. What does that really mean? How much money is that? Like, if they say, we were able to save $50 billion. $50 billion sounds like a ton of money, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. If I gave you $50 billion, oh, snap, I'm not coming to school anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about perspective, though, right? If someone were to give the U.S. $50 billion, that would change this to be 17 trillion 240 billion. It doesn't affect it that much. So you've got your thousands, millions, billions. And here we are sitting here in the trillions. Okay? And according to the source, that is an average of Two point six 
billion dollars per day that we were increasing our debt. I'm going to be honest with you, you will probably never be worth $2.6 billion in terms of your assets and how much money you have. Okay? So to think that the country is increasing its debt by that much every day, just something to think about. Or maybe you don't want to think about it. Okay? Well, what if we want to try to write some of these numbers using words? Okay? If I were to try to write this, this first number up here, that's, that's pretty heavy, right? Why don't we start with something a little bit smaller? Because I want to make sure that you write these numbers and you say these numbers the right way. We'll come back to writing the number of the, the population of the U.S. If I were to say this number. Now, there are a lot of ways that you could say this to somebody else in this class, and they can completely understand what number you mean. But what is the technical way for writing this? I'm sorry, say that again, Justice? 23,708. Notice that she didn't say and eight. We don't use the word and there. The word and comes in later when we start talking about decimal points. So this first part here, you would say this is, I know this is going to kill a lot of you. Please make sure that you spell correctly. So this is 23,000. Where you have a comma in your number where we create those groups of three, you also put a comma when you write the name. So 23,000, comma. And then you look at this. This number is not 708. It's 708. So we write this as 23,708. You guys with me on that? You know what? Let's go back and let's look at that crazy U.S. population number, see if we can write that. Think you can do it? Yeah. And see, I don't think you can do it. Yeah, do. I know you can do it. <laughs> you thought I was about to be a jerk, didn't you? <laughs> so I give my son something to eat. He says, I don't like this. I love it. I'm like, it's very glad that you changed what you just said there, son. So if I look at this, we look at it in terms of pieces. If I look at this first piece right here, that first group, how would you write that number itself? Just that number. How do you, how do you read that? 317. But it's in what section? It's in the millions section, so we would write that as 317 million, comma. And then we look at the, the middle section here where we have the thousands. How would you describe this number? 367,000. So let's write that. So 367,000, comma, because we get to our last group. How do you write the last part? 38. 38. Even though there are, there are no hundreds indicated here, it's zero hundreds. I'm not going to say zero hundred. I'm going to say the number that I see here, so that's 38. What do you guys think about that? Now, of course, we see how we have to do this sometimes, right? If you guys ever write checks. Does anybody here ever write checks? I have. Okay. Hopefully, you never have to write a check that has something this long on it. <laughs> um, but it, if you've ever written a check that's like over 1000 like $1,345.62. I think it's kind of long. You feel like you can't even fit the, so you know what? I'll just say a thousand. They'll get the $300 somewhere else. <laughs>